Divin Akemunto was only 19 years old when one day a petrol station that blew up burnt her almost to death. In a very painful and moving story of hope, I sat down with Divin Akemunto and she told me how both family and friends turned their back on her at her hour of need. From almost killing herself twice, she's now one of Kenya's most celebrated TikTok sensations. Come with me, let's listen to the story of Divina Kemonto. Ladies and gentlemen, Divina Kemunto is now here with us. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor to have you on the Talk Time show. And uh, you have a very inspirational story, just like I introduced to our viewers. And I hope that after this story goes on air, somebody somewhere will be inspired to do better. Yeah. Walk us through your journey, uh, Divina, from uh, where you were born up to the time that you almost lost your life through deadly body burns. Talk to us, where were you born? Thank you so much, everyone. I, uh, I was born in Kisi, born and raised in Kisi. All right. I went to Rehema Academy. All right. High school, I went to Nduru Girls High School. Then uh, in 2017, okay. uh, was it March? Yeah, okay. March, okay. I joined an NGO. Okay called Nope Kenya. It was Nope Kenya. Yeah. Nope means National case? Organization of Peer Educators. Peer Educators. Yeah. So you are a peer educator at age nineteen? No, I was a data clerk. A data clerk. Yeah. Or awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah, at the age of nineteen. Okay. This is because I grew up with a lot of hardships. Oh, okay, Let's okay. take for instance yeah. uh, when I was growing up, with my disability, it's not easy to live out here okay. because of discrimination yes, and yeah, so on yeah, and so on. Yeah. So when I was in high school, right. a lot of things happened, okay. so I had to drop out of school. Where was your high school again? Nduru Girls. Nduru Girls, in back in Kisi County? Yeah. All right, okay, okay, carry on, all right. So I had to drop out of school okay. in Form 2 due to a lot of challenges right, but right. those ones made me stronger Definitely, so yeah. i started connecting with people here and there let's say networking is a good thing okay. because with that networking from facebook it's where i met someone who changed my life okay. that is why i came i came to work in nope kenya all right all right, all right. the uh, the ceo believed in me okay. because i had fluent english i i was reasonable and he just saw potential in me uh -huh. he did not see my disability all right. because most people in kenya and all over the world uh -huh. they see the disability uh -huh. in someone all right. in, in, in instead of seeing the person right okay so that is how he he paid for my how do you call it uh -huh. certificate for computer Oh, oh, then computer, he employed me. Okay, computer certificates. Okay. Yeah. All right. That is how I got to be employed uh -huh. after some months okay. after I met him. Okay. So I worked in Kericho right. for some months. All right. So one particular evening All right. from work, I I was passing, going home. I had some earphones on, so I was passing by to go home. Uh, when I reached somewhere, the rain started falling All right. and I, I decided to go sit somewhere okay. so that I can wait for the rain to end. To stop here. Yeah. So when I stopped somewhere, even I had not entered, there was an, a gas explosion. Oh, at the place where you, are, you had gone so that the rain Yeah, it's near the filling station. Okay. So I was just passing by. So in that particular time... Uh, just hold on. Now... Mm -hmm. The place where you you were walking, right? Yeah. And then you, the rain started. Yes. Then for one reason or the other, you didn't want to be rained on. No. Probably because <laughs> of your hair. <laughs> and then you went, you moved into a place, a filling <laughs> station. Yeah. So that you wait for the rain to stop. Yes. So that you proceed. Where was this in this part of the country? Is it still at Kisi or you had come to Nairobi or Kericho or where? Kericho. It's at Kericho now. Yeah. All right. Or oh, carry on. 
So when I stood by, there's this guy who came with a banner. A banner? A yeah. gas banner? Or a yes, gas banner, the, uh -huh. the small one, the one you lock. The with. gas with, all right. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. So when the guy came with the banner, okay. he told the person inside, uh, can you see if this thing is working? Ati mekwe kini sumbua, uneza nionea. So the guy was a Buddha guy. He immediately rushed out because he had another client. So this guy inside here went and uh, tried the burner. Okay. Mm -hmm. Forgetting he had removed excess gas. You know? Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, now I get. The guy walks in, he asks for his burner to be tested. Yes. But then he leaves immediately. Immediately to go to a, attend to another client. Yes. Leaving the gas removing, the gas cylinder removing the gas. Yeah. Uh -huh. Carry on. So when he left immediately, so the moment this person tried, the owner, I think he was the owner. Okay. The moment the owner tried it, it exploded. Because you see, when gases come, there is this excess gas yeah, yeah, being removed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But since the, uh, the weather outside wasn't so good, it exploded. In that particular time, I remember seeing just some, what do you call it? It's like an explode. Yeah, the gas comes. Yeah, huh? in uh, punches okay yeah yeah the clouds that yes thing. like okay. a cloud okay. the only thing i thought of was my eyes because at the end of the day where would i run to even though i start running yeah. it should explode and yeah. i was near okay so the one thing i did i just took my hand covered your eyes. covered my eyes and stayed no oh, you rain and i i baptized myself to the rain because in that particular moment, I remember it was dark because, you know, Usha Difunika, I had this scratch with me. Ah, you, were, you had started using this. Yes, I was born with this disability. We'll come back there. We'll yeah. get to that. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's carry So, on. at that particular time, the only thing I thought of was to baptize myself with my eyes. Oops. So, immediately I was burning everywhere. Okay. So, by the time Nafunua Macho, by the time I, I am out of yani that that tension and, yeah, entire Nangalia, Kuju, everyone was just Kericho, almost everyone in Kericho was all over me Kericho town yes within that kila mtu to misimama tu no one is helping wana kuangalia yes with the cameras perhaps with their nani kochi do you know what happened to your clothes devina sini lichomeka si kumbuka the patches you know the only thing i covered was my eyes which means i i will have been blind today Ah, so the rest of the body was burning. Yes, it was burning, and if it were not for that thing, I would have died. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. Oh. So let's say if it were not for the covering of my eyes, yeah. even I could have inhaled it because it was just bad. Bad. So there's this woman who came remove the rubber. Before we get to the woman, talk mm -hmm. to me about the guys, uh, the guy, the petrol attendant gas, uh, the guy who was attending the gas mm -hmm. station, as well as the client who had come with the banner. Where are they at this moment? The day? client, like I told you, was a Buddha guy. He left. Then he goes. So mwingine wa test at that particular time. I think he was inside there. Ikilipuka. Ikilipuka. Yes. Ah. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So, mimi ntu ni kwa hapo. He? Kila mtu ananiangalea wengine, I think they took videos. Ama wengine mm. wako. And you know, kale engines na kikale tu, you don't understand. <laughs> so, this woman removed the wrapper. Uh -huh. Aka kuja kanifunika. Imagine nadi shoe yangu iliko ime, ime, ime chomeka. Even the shoes? Yes. That was bad. Nili chomeka mwili mzima. The people who are watching you today mm -hmm. might not really believe the story because how you look like mm -hmm. today and uh, how you are explaining what happened at yeah. that moment. Burning um, almost part of your, uh, the entire body, body, covering the eyes only. Yeah. But I think that is the inspirational bit. Yeah. Talk to us about the hospital experience. The hospital experience was... No, after the rapper, okay. one border guy just came and told me, Kuja nikubebe. Oh, okay. uh -huh. So the woman, the, the wife to the man whom the accident had happened, Akakuja. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. So to the hospital, I to the hospital. I love instead of the basi to the you know? And I was going to You know? The wife pia likuwa meumia. Yes! Okay, okay. Sikumbuka sasa bwana yake ndiye amechomeka hapo ndani. Yeye ndiye alikuwa hapo ndani. He got 
the most burnt. Ah. And then, now, the, 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 the lady and the guy who got burned, your shop ni yao. Yes. Na wewe mwenye umia ukiwa kwa shop yao, ulipiwi. Si hiku ulipiwa, by the way. Anashugulikia the, the husband. Yes. And I was there begging the woman. Actually, she's a kissy. I was there begging her, dina mongelesha kikisi. She's from your home area. Yes. Um, I don't know her, uh, but she, she speaks the same, same language. As, as Let's yourself. say, yeah. yeah. So I was like, you are... Brothers yeah. and sisters of sorts. So the yeah. phone that I had was a big tablet. And you know, normally the big tablets don't have anything. Yeah. So I had to trust this Boda guy and tell him, go back to my house. Nika muelezea. Enda kwa nyumba angu flani, mali flani, enda wambi hivi na hivi, kuna simu huko utaniletea. Simjui. The guy ran. I had to call my, my, how do you call it, manager. Okay, yeah, the at work place. Yes, eh? who right, was so called David. David. Nika David. Ambea David, David. But he came immediately. Uh -huh. You know? Then my boss had traveled to Geneva that time for a meeting. Yeah. So I can't even call him. I don't know what to do. But after I told David, David told the office pia kulikuwa na challenges kupata fans mm. but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there was a lot of challenges in between yeah. but at least when you did vida likuja tulipata pesa ya kuanzisha first aid yeah. so the first aid was done was it the same day or within the week same day the first aid was done nika nilikuanga hospital yenye inaitwa hiyo ya kiwicho ilikuwa inaitwaje akimbona sikumbuki jina but let me, i can remember it That's later with, yeah, with time, so nimekuwa hapo Uyu mbaba wake ni kama amefanyiwa better services Says, at that yeah, time but it's yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. The woman didn't even and come to see. Mbaba wake should be there husband now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no mbaba and today. Yeah. It's funny. It's uh, the, the mm, husband today owner of the shop. Yes. Where you got back. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, amesha shughulikiwa mimi mimi tu nimepakwa cream flani. But then I remember on top of the bands. Yeah. Sasa boss wangu I remember my boss gave orders. Akamwambia ebu ende ni Wherever she is, it's not okay. Mm. Try and find a uh, tenuek if we can find a space. So arrangements were done because up on ice, every imagine pack of cream, which will make almost kill a mali. That's why I'm asking, creams do you Yeah, have that is really gross. Yeah, I will. I'll send you some photos. Okay. So that you can see the, that. Yeah. Be. All right. <laughs> so, your time, sasa ukotu apo wakakuja, and I remember that time there was mugomo. Which means the work was hard to get. But I don't know those connections, how they did it. But right now mm. I can tell people that friends can turn out for you with Actually, more, more than, than family. family definitely. Yeah. Uh, so for me, that is a friend who became a family. If, in spite of being my boss, I can right now proudly say that I can never forget. And he's still my father. He's someone whom I can proudly say is my other father. Okay. Yeah. Though he's not biological no. dad, but whatever he has that done for dad. you was more than yeah. what a real dad would do. Yes. What is his name again? Philip Wawerumbugwa. Philip Wawerumbugwa. <laughs> you guy. Cheers, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, ambulance kaitwa keshake. The following day, I was second to ten week. I don't know if they did it, but niliyekwa kwa. You see where accidents happen. Yeah, uh, yeah emergency. 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 Men, because <laughs> there were no wards, people are full. And kuna mgomo. Kuna mgomo. So, <clears throat> don't really pay a private room. Yeah. So, which means, I don't know what they did, but I'm grateful, by the way. Wait, Devina. E time, Oma, then are the husband. The I'm the They've not contacted you. No. They don't know what's happening to they you. They didn't even pay a single cent. Not even a single cent. Kampuni yangu ndeli shugulikia. Everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything, everything. Izo emergency, ambulance. Kampuni ndeli shugulikia. So ni kwa hapa hospitali. Unapewa kiyo. Sasa, it's my first time looking myself in a kiyo. We, unapewa kiyo, unajichukia. You know? You are like, how will I start? On top of my disability, nimechomeka. You know? That time, unapigia watu simu, kila mtu anakuambia sorry. Unamtubia picha, anakublock immediately. 
Unaona? Bwana alikuwa na dania wana block. What was making them block you? They they it's what pictures was inaka. Me I to, to me like let's say for example tuseme kama nilikuwa na kama mtu kama uko nje let's say Kasponyo. Sasa unajua yeye anajiuliza sasa huyu hii Biden ya pili yeye ni disabled. Sura imeenda. Amekuwa disabled. Where am I taking? You know? Me for me I thought ni hiyo hiyo party ya double disability. Oops. Let me just say double disability. That is a double disability. At that particular point you are calling your best friend a chikwisimu. <laughs> Everyone a chikwisimu. Mm. Mmoja tu. Who was in school actually a form to girl. Oh. Whom I had known so way before you our challenges growing up. She had challenges, I had challenges. Mm. We became friends because yeah. of our difficult Unity times. Purpose, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So uh, right now I can just say she's dead actually. She oh, died. She, oh, she passed when, on. Yeah. Oh, my God. She was my best friend but she oh, passed on sorry. like a year ago. Which Why? Was sad. What, what, what happened to her? She, she disappeared and found dead in the mortuary after one month. After she had died. So. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's okay. Sorry so that time there was no family who came. Oh, oh. My family didn't come actually. It was my workmates who were there. Another lady called Daisy. She was like everything at that particular time, motivating me, my yeah. workmates. They are the only ones who are there for me. So, but when you look at yourself in that mirror, I was like, hey, in Ayapana. I actually tried to kill myself twice. Hospital, yes, Ebu imagine. You see, you can now see, si jadungwa dawa. But Dr. Mwenye, alikuja kutishugulike yo kesi yangu. I'm doing this for you. You'll thank me one day. One day, yeah. Ali later in turn, she was pregnant. Ali later in turn, so the job would be a pregnancy. Ala fu na ni guara uso unajua ile bagada sasa. Na unajua uso wezi dungo ile shindano uta dungo api shindano ya mo mivu uso. So you jungo na iskia, una iskilia. Ndani and you are there hating her and you are saying aki we we. I used to say aki we we. Ukola mimi bano ni ono. I'm crying and you know it's funny and painful at the same time. <laughs> exactly. So I'm like, I don't know how to react. No, right now you can re anyhow you can react. Even so me, I didn't know how to react that the, time, the, but that I was moment, full all right, all right, okay. of hate, no mm. friend, nothing. But so umetole also maganda. So I'll send you the photos. There is you, Janiote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natole also but the lady, I remember, she told me, one day you'll look back and you'll thank me. You, you will. Utakuna jangala ko so akwa di uamini uki jangala izo picha ivi unasema, ay, see Mimi, you know? And that is how, let's say, but sasa nilijaribu kujiwa twice. Mara ya kwanza hiyo maji unajuu mekewa maji juu. You know, when ukitole wangozi izo pause, unakani dead, it's like mm. a new skin. So izo pause zinatoka in form of maji. Nika una sweat. So, ukiekela hivi, ni uchungu. Wezi lala hivi. Wezi lala hivi. Shingo kumbuka pili likuwe mechomeka. So, I have an open wound. Na unajuu sawa hizi kukwekea plaster. Lips zangu pia zilikuwa zinachomeka si hizi kula. We? So, hiyo maji nikiekewa. In a day, nilikuwa nga nekewa maji twice. Juu, unajuu hizo pozi, ukunyi maji juu. Iyo mdomo utafungu aji. So, I remember the first time I tried to kill myself was Sikuenye ni meacho peke angu, wengine wa merudi job. Of course, work uh, must yeah. go on. Loneliness wanakuja jioni, wanakuja mchana. Uh. Nilichukuanga hiyo, sunajua hiyo nini ya maji. Mm -hmm. Unajaribu kujinyonga hivi. Yo, hiyo, alafi hiyo uchungu inakuna. Sile kitu ni weak sana. <laughs> no, I was trying my best. Kumbuka even the hand was burnt. Yeah. yeah. So, so you are trying everything possible. Adi unangale hivi, unashindwa. Siku ingine wanakweke lapo juma dao, unajaribu kukunya zoto, au kufi. Unamuka uko sawa, you are like, what am I doing? Yeah. I love there is an old lady, one day who came and told me, Kuja, Kuja to talk in je. Oh, Ali... sasa, at this moment, umeanza ku... Eh, yeah. no. Mkuwa moko ni wheelchair. No, mi msikuwa itembea na wheelchair. Ni naeza tembea, but sasa sikuwa itoka kwa yo bed. Oh, so, sometime, right. kuna siku sasa mama mfulani ya kasema, alikuwa na linda muenzake sasa. Sasa sijui ni aje daktari ya leache yo mlango wazi. Sasa sijui. Then she came, mrembo. Kuja tukayeka hapa nje baridi kugonge. So that time my my other aunt came. 
to see me sasa hizo mara mwisho 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 but now before she came bio school sikatoka nje kufika hapo nje that is where i got my motivation to continue with life ni meketi tu hapo nje sasa si unajua ni kwa wadi ya wanaume we unatoka nje sasa ni accident mtu amekatika mkono mguu hivi kutoka hapa kwenda chini mwingine sijui alipata accident sijui uso inakaje you know you are like we mimi kuchomeka peke yake Unasikiza story ya mtu anakuambia mimi yaki hivi then you are like yenyewe hata kama yangu ni ya kuchomeka wacha tu niishi So that day when I left the room it's when I got motivated and said I have to do whatever I have to do right. to be me again So nika nika I had another friend who was a doctor okay in another hospital okay. So this friend of mine told me hakuna haja mwest do kwa usi you can come back home I nurse you Okay. okay. For free. I asked him for money or for free. <laughs> for free. He was a, a very good friend. A very, he was a neighbor. That is how I got to know him. So me I was there. I'm like, okay. I I told my people from work, Neza discharge you. Ajua kuna haja by the way ke bill kitu yenye iko. But they used to come every day, every day. They were now the family that I was expecting to have. That journey was hard but I pushed it. So hiyo ukiwa nyumbani huyo my friend who was a nurse. Alikuwa anatoa na nurse na bestie yake mwingine. Una nurse hadi nikaanza kunini kurudi tu. Unajiangalia dho kwa kiyo nothing yeah. ever feels the same. Yeah. Your yeah. Yeah. As a person is destroyed. Yeah, Confidence friends have gone. gone. That is wondering how you're going to yes. start. Wow. That is when that friend of mine was in form too. Aliepa shule. Akakuja akakaa na mimi kwa full week. Friends yes. manzee. Friends. Friends. Friends, yeah. One full week amehepa shule. Yenye leta hiyo kuepa yake shule ilikuja kumkosta wakadanganya ati alichoma shule. Hadi venye anakufa hivi alikuwa anga na kesi Moinya Bwanse ati amechoma ah, shule. Moinya Bwanse you know. Yeah, you remember when it was it got yes, banned? Yes, and there was a lot of media frenzy and people talking. Yes, now she, she was, was one suspect. of the people. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So okay. that is how it happened. Yeah. And uh, Immediately after two months, nikaomba tunaitaje? Eh, yeah. inaitwa transfer. Oh, okay. Ju, From your workplace, eh? Yeah, okay, ju okay. eku ka place moja hapo haiwezi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So siku nyingine tu nikitoka job tena nikiteremka I met that woman. Do you know that woman? Aliniambia ti waachana hii maneno aishe tuendelee na life, but I remember my boss told me hakuna haja niwafuatilie. It's my boss who told me ju awa kushughulikia siku ya kwanza you know mm. mtu wa kukusaidia ama mtu mwenye anaona yenyewe ulichomeka Meka. kwetu yeah. you should do this well, you should do that even if they cannot contribute financially wanaweza kuja wakuone wakujulia haya hawakukuja hata simu hiyo siku ndio tulimit then she she sends me 5000 na madharau lakini hiyo unajua hiyo 5000 hiyo kuna ju nilikuwa na move by the way nilichukua Lakini ndani yangu I'm like aki you will never know peace in your life. That is what I said. Siku ya 5k. Ukwe unge rudisha. Sasa ningefanya. Nafaa ku move. Hakuna haja tena nianze kuambia boss wangu I need money. Hivi at yo expenses mingi mingi na wewe na unajua kuenda kunilipisha hiyo doe ya hospitali. Siku katwanga kwa mshahara. So that is lack actually good will exactly so kipata good will hakuna venye tena utafaka hapa ti nini nilichukua hiyo 5k but ndani yangu i'm like wewe yaki mimi ningekuwa na pesa ninge ninge msiu lakini sikuwa na pesa so anders to jump ship eh? yeah umepata job your career inaanza pole pole at a young age yeah. 19 only yeah Alafu you got the worst exactly part. after two sinilianza match uh-huh. alafu mwezi wa sita uh-huh. nikachomeka nikachomeka so exactly one month ama two after getting the job yes <laughs> mwili yote remember yote. at this moment bado uko na disability yes so is it wrong or is it accurate for me to conclude therefore that very many people including yourself mm-hmm. at the point of uh, accident let's call it an accident ulikuwa unajua unaenda kufa i mean i nilikuwa najua naenda kufa you i remember the doctor said uli in hell so can you imagine doctor asking you uli in hell can you remember no doctor kaniambia juu ja kufa within one week meaning hata kama uli in hell 
na kupea 2 3 months. Usipokufa ah wewe uko in hell. Left group. Eh? So ulikuwa una, una account mamiezi. Mwezi wa kwanza imesha sijakufa. Unaamka hadi unaji sijakufa. <laughs> Alafu pia remember ulikuwa umejaribu kujiua mara mbili. Yes. Because I tried it. Yeah. Stress na ile pia mimi mwenyewe nilijidiscriminate at that particular point. Okay. Yeah because hebu imagine having a disability alafu naongezewa disa sura yako yani unajua kuna disability when i grow grew up ndio ni attract mwanaume walikuwa wanaangalia sura i said to say that na sa hiyo sura ndio ilikuwa inanipea moyo ya like sura yangu bwana eh hey, ni mali mtu katakuja <laughs> yeah <laughs> alafu sasa sura yenyewe kamekula gas kakaungua imeuma gas so do we know I still got towards the end of our interview. Mm -hmm. Umekula hiyo shida yote, uh, umeungua, una mwili, unataka kufa, umejaribu kujiua mara mbili. Nikashindwa. Sahi as I stand with you today on talk time, you are a TikTok star. Yeah. Your body has regained uh, its uh, viability mm -hmm. now you are becoming one of the most celebrated online influencers. I know our viewers meona hizo mapicha na pia Nini, you don't you don't believe that from what you've seen mm -hmm. she's here looking this blessed and amazing tell us your recovery journey in a few minutes from be almost killing yourself uh -huh. to becoming a tiktok star by the way guys this is her handle go to her tiktok you, there's a lot of amazing content uh, follow her and guys you will be blessed what, what's your tiktok handle divine intervention one okay yeah all right tell us your recovery journey until you became the person you are today so my recovery journey after i got a transfer to nairobi okay. i stayed with my family my let's say relative okay in that process things were not easy pia kuna challenges ile ya you are working and still you know you kuna ile nyukika kwa nyumba ya mtu nairobi venye maisha ni ngumu yeah unaidika tu Eh, kama u contribute yeah. na shangao huyu sasa yeah, na hiyo mshahara yangu unajua nilikuwa nimeambiwa ni kule maya ine boilo <laughs> kila siku na Is na epos mbili kila siku Is i gain oh, the skin the skin yes for the yeah. skin to come back lazima ukule hiyo mayai so unaona hiyo ni pesa na unalipwa 25 g's in a month yeah. na ni Nairobi unaona hiyo traffic kila Nini. kitu Nairobi kutoka hapa hadi pale you spend. Yeah so, and that yeah, time hiyo time ya kuchomeka nikikuja Nairobi I met this mzungu eh? baba yes <laughs> yes I'm proudly to say that I am one of the beneficiaries when you are me we make it na baba <laughs> I hope that's a joke <laughs> Actually it's not a joke. Ah, okay. Actually I don't joke. Hakuna haja nisimama hapa mbele yetu diwadanganye na joke. Sasa hii siwezi sema like I told you in life a friend is the only you can get a friend who can be a family you never had. Goja. Mzungu saw you and fell in love with you. Yes in spite of my bands. Actually unaona after kublockiwa na watu wa maana ni nilikuwa nga nalipiwa hadi ndege nalipiwa <laughs> lakini after kublockiwa na watu wa maana nini huu mzungu ndio nilikutana na yeye akanipenda hivyo sijapaka makeup you will see the photos sijapaka makeup sija nini akaniambia you you look it's okay you look good i want your number nikampea namba hapo <coughs> ilikuwa yeye hapo tama huku hai rongai <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> rongai. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. ah. tembea, tembea so you guys dated or he was your godfather or at first he was my godfather. Okay. Ile nye, ile tablet yangu kubwa hivi, okay. change, nikapata iPhone 7. <laughs> In the year 2018 I was using iPhone 7 mupia. <laughs> yeah? So uh -huh. let's say I change life yangu watu wakaanza kusema, you know I remember there's someone who saw me with that phone akaniuliza how do you how did you get this phone? I yeah. doubt that person is sleeping with you. I was like, no, he's my friend. He's your friend, yeah. But they didn't believe me. Alafu unajua ile, unajua kuna kitu kaa mbaya kaa upea mtu idea. So from those harsh comments, yeah. harsh believings, they drew me into thinking twice. Okay. I said, what if? Sasa ile yenye mnazoea na mzungu tu mkaanza tu ku date and that is how it changed my life. Let's say on that particular time hiyo mshahara mm. nini nini okay. project inaenda chini I had okay. to quit. Ah okay. 
that particular time when I was quitting, you time bado nilikuwa na mzungu alikuwa ni support nimechukua nyumba, nimeanza maisha. Okopoa yeah. Eh, ana ni motivate ananiambia that is the mzungu is the person who made me know. Ai, kumbe naweza jua kutumia simu. Alikuwa ananiambia I love I am a, a photo addict, umeelewa? Ah. So he bought me nice phones ile yenye ananiambia you can be taking videos. Waje ile yenye anakuambia hivi ilifanya hivi hivyo hivyo. That is how I got to know. Right. Now. Yeah. As we end, eh? mm -hmm. your story is uh, very moving mm -hmm. and it shows that truly, truly people can come from being zero to something. To, to something. Yeah. And uh, I'm very sure people are watching this story are gaining a thing or two on yeah. patience and believing yeah. that somebody can be a better person. Divina, that's a very amazing story and uh, we are concluding. Mm -hmm. Once again, thank you for agreeing to give us this airtime. Your crutches, uh, you seem to be using this. Mm -hmm. Talk to us in a minute or so. Why are you using that? I was born with a disability. Okay. It's called double-sided hip dislocation. And I also was born with a deformed feet. Both of my two feet are deformed. Ah, okay. okay. The ones sorry, that... Sorry. Hmm? No, no. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. Oh, but uh, it does not hinder you from doing your daily hustles and routine all that no I do everything by myself okay. without any help okay. and uh, I think my disability is what has made me whom I am today okay. yeah through the challenges discriminations okay. they make me stronger every day with my disability I could have not been an IT person right now you're an IT guru eh? yeah so you can tell guys the guys who have IT issues can always you know <laughs> hit you up and you know consult yeah. Yeah? so through my disability it's how i got sponsorship to study with cisco i know yeah it's cisco yeah the ict regulator okay. yeah so yeah. for those people out there who think disability is uh, something bad some of us here see it's a good thing because when I look back, without this disability, I couldn't be where I am today yeah. without it, actually. And most importantly, you would have not inspired yeah. people who are even going through the same or even worse. Yes. Uh, in a moment, you are going to upload her TikTok videos and, of course, the link. And uh, our production crew, we are also going to have a little bit of TikToking session with her. So, what's your final comment? <laughs> To those who are watching us today, mm -hmm. in a record 10 to 15 seconds, what mm -hmm. advice do you have to them from being, from almost losing your life, mm -hmm. from gas bans, mm -hmm. and being the society turning their back on you mm -hmm. to becoming an online sensation and uh, an ambassador of hope? What's your last comments to those who are watching us this lovely afternoon? My life, my last comment is live your life the life is for the living do whatever comes to your mind as much as you can because you may say i'll do it tomorrow then maybe you never know tomorrow you'll never wake up and for those people who have a disability remember your disability is what defines you never discriminate yourself hold it tight life must continue perfect uh, ladies and gentlemen who are watching us this lovely afternoon, that is the amazing and moving story of Divina Kemunto uh, from being a burn survivor to becoming one of Kenya's uh, TikTok sensation. It's been a, uh, an honor having a follower on TikTok at uh, Divine Intervention, Intervention one. 1. Instagram? Divine Kemunto. All right. And for those who have uh, bought our tickets for the National Storytelling Conference this year, uh, Divina Kimunto, I want to request you to be one of our guest speakers. I didn't tell you this before, mm -hmm. but we are having a National Storytelling Conference that is coming at the end of this month. So if you can get time to come and uh, inspire those who will attend the conference, it will be such an honor. Sure, I will be there. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for always keeping tabs with our show. It's really, really... Uh, thank you so much for the support you've always accorded us. Rush to the subscribe button if you haven't uh, really done so because I feel you should be the first to be notified every time we upload a new video. See you next week. Bye-bye.